foundation with the fellows. Now I will be teaching how to treat exhaled somatic dysfunctions for the caliper ribs. So again, the setup is essentially the same for both inhaled and exhaled caliper ribs. It's the placement of your hand. So for exhaled caliper ribs, remember that the ribs are stuck inferior medially. They do not like to go superior laterally on inhalation. Because of this, our force vector is going to be directly anterior because we want to help pull those ribs up. When, we're, when we're our force vector is anterior, we are medial to the angle of the ribs to create a fulcrum that helps to pull the ribs up into inhalation. So again, we'll use respiratory augmentation. Grab your patient's con um, ipsilateral ASIS and, pu and pull posteriorly or pull off the table to engage their QL. You'll have the patient breathe in. On inhalation, you'll have them hold their breath and engage their hip by pulling their hip down to the table. At the same time, you're applying a directly anterior force on those caliper ribs. Have the patient breathe out and resist exhalation by applying an anterior force on the ribs. Again, have the patient breathe in, hold their breath on inhalation, engage their QL by pulling their hip down to the table and applying an anterior force. As they exhale, you resist the motion of exhalation of the ribs and engage the um, feather edge further by pulling posteriorly on the um, ipsilateral ASIS. Of course, you will recheck and assess.